Oh. oh my gosh, Jaina, I'm so sorry. That doesn't exactly cut it, Rocket. Well, see, everything's just kind of a mess right now. And I really didn't mean to That's do the thing, Rocket. You're always making a big mess of everything and never meaning it. So you're not going to weasel out of this one. Come on, Dana. If you just wait a second, I can tell you exactly how everything happened. It's not my fault. Yeah, that's what people always say when they don't want to admit they blew it. Dana, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing. I know Rocket pretty well, and she's a really honest person, so why don't you just listen to what she has to say? Why should I, Jessie? She's a total fake. Well, I kinda hate to say this, Dana, but if I was Rocket and you were accusing me of stuff I didn't do, you know what I'd probably do? No, Jessie, what? Well, for one, I might take your private logbook or whatever it is, you know, the thing that you lost, and show it all around school. I'm sure everyone would really like to know more about the CSGs. Jesse, if you have our book, give it back. I don't have it, but it's in someone's locker, and I'm sure it would get returned to you if you'd be nicer to people. This is unbelievable. But, okay, Jesse, I get it. Rocket, since Jesse obviously thinks you're innocent, and I actually think she's a totally right-on person, maybe you'll get a chance to explain yourself. Well, I gotta go. See you guys later? Thanks, Jess. Dana, I promise it's all a big confusing mix-up. You'll see. Yeah, we will see, Rocket. When you tell your little story in front of me, Nikili, and Miko all together. Wait a second, I'm I like... really have to go now, too. But come to the library in half an hour, and maybe you can prove you're innocent. Thanks, Dana. I swear I really will. Bye. Okay, time to get on with the ceremonies. Only one thing to do. Act like there's no big problem and hope they'll lighten up. This is terrible, but if I don't fess up, things will get even worse. <laughs> 